No. No. I have no sleeping bag. Oh, that is not a good sign. I have nothing in this base, apart from my farm. My base is just over this ridge. The clan next to me has expanded overnight. Wait, am I in the right place? So my base is right here. Yeah, it is. It's right in front of me. Wait. Uh... No. <laughs> it's gone! The whole base is gone! It got foundation wiped? Oh my god. All of my work. The tier 2 and the 3 that I had farmed so hard for. All of the loot within my base was gone. And not even the rubble remained. Oh no, this is all I need. Well, back to a rock and a torch. After 16 hours straight of rust on white day, grinding till 5 in the morning, I had lost everything in the short window when the server slept. All that remained was my farm base and a few scraps within. But I had an idea behind who was responsible and I would stop at nothing to make this my greatest solo adventure. I hope you enjoy. Okay, it's dark, I have a bow, and I'm farming a tree with a bone club. But here we go. Now luckily, before I logged off, I moved some of my loot, not much, but some, into the external tool cupboard. And I can't remember what I put in it, but hopefully it's enough to get me going. And I have one garage door too. Now let's see what I actually put in here. Alright, you know what? We've got something to work with. We got a little bit of cloth, we got scrap, and we got some frags. I can do this. I can do this, man. Okay, I have a plan. I'm still gonna build an incredible main base, and I know how I'm gonna do it. With nothing left of my original base, all that I had was the external tool cupboard. But then I realized I could still use it as an external and use it to live out of as I farmed to rebuild. Using some of the resources I'd hidden away before logging out, I quickly added an airlock and made my temporary home a little more secure. Okay, the sun had risen on a new day. Let's begin. While I had some resources, I had to start from zero. First up, I crafted a workbench. With this, I had access to some tools that would help me farm up faster. I crafted up low-grade for a furnace while getting straight to work farming the wood. But I had to be careful. While it was still the early hours of the morning, there were clearly many threats still in my area. Okay, I need absolutely everything, but I at least have a furnace smelting now, and I saw a bear outside. If I can get that, I'll at least have some leather for some more clothes, which would be very helpful. I learned a new trick from Goliak. I think you guys will like it. I finally have a way to deal with bears. Let's see if it works. So you place a foundation, but you don't jump on it and you kite around. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh yeah. We're so back, let's go. And we even have a horse. Wait, this gives me possibilities. My first few runs had been successful and I had managed to pick myself up onto my feet. But more importantly, I had found a horse, which gave me an idea. Right, if I can buy a workbench Oh, workbench level 2 for 1800 sulfur. If I buy a tier 2, I can skip straight to a 3 with my scrap. It's a long trip, but I reckon I can make it to Outpost with a fast horse. So, that was the plan. Head to Outpost farming sulfur along my way, and hopefully buying a tier 2. Oh, me, that scared me. Oh, oh my, I'm really getting roof camped by those guys right now. However, I had underestimated how many would be in my way. This server was more than alive. Ah! These guys are still chasing me? Oh my god, forget these new wolves are crazy. <laughs> Bro! They've been chasing me for five grids! Oh no. No, not more wolves. 
Oh my god, hopefully it's just the one. Oh my god, there's more! <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, there's two more! Bro, these things are insane. How many do I have to fight? There's three! <laughs> what the fuck? No! Oh my god. Well, I guess wolves are my bigger enemy than anything, man. <laughs> I had to kill five. Oh, uh, that got me killed. Well, new plan. I do at least still have my farm. And I have some scrap teas in this farm. So, I think my absolute best way of getting scrap will be using these scrap teas. Farming barrels. We at least still have that. Ooh, solar panel. That's pretty helpful. Okay, we got a few components. That's good. Bringing a pipe back to base, I now had everything I needed to craft up a revolver. This would give me a slightly better chance against the many geared players in my area. Okay, now I really do plan to build a big main base, so I'm going to have to do a lot of resource farming today. Uh, and right now what I need is sulfur, so I can craft more ammo, because I don't quite have enough for any bullets at the moment. I'm going to quickly expand so I at least have an airlock to my furnaces, because I still feel quite unsafe and I do not want to get raided again. Now the nice thing is, because I'm living out of this external, I can still build this as I want it to be for an external. Um, so I'm going to keep the design as it normally would, and that also means that when I end up building my main base, this will act almost as a second base where I can split my loot, so uh, I think this will be nice to have a, have a strong external TC. Oh yeah. These are definitely the guys that foundation wiped me. These are my first neighbors from my first farm base I built yesterday. And it makes sense they raided me on weird hours because I'm pretty certain they're Chinese, which means their active hours are when everyone else is sleeping. Wait a minute. The turret guarding the furnaces is offline. Wait, this could be huge. I need metal and sulfur so badly. I have to try. Ah, oh, this guy's online. See, why did this guy get raided, man? Why was it me that got foundation wiped? Oh well, I need the Revy. Oh shit, there's someone inside. Right on the other side of this wall. He's wearing boots. Ah, oh, man. Can't really jump in with him right there. Oh no, he's sitting right there! Shit. And there's a guy on the top, top roof building. Oh my god, this is gonna be hard. Wait, one's coming out. Oh my god, please don't see me. I think that's the guy I just saw in the compound. So if he's gone to farm, I might be able to jump in. Okay, he's gone over the ridge now. We go now. No! The tu they turned them on?! No way, they just turned them on! Oh, that's so unfortunate, man. I had that. I had it. I can't believe it. To even have a hope of recovering all of the loot that I'd lost on the previous night, I had to be efficient. So, to gather the components I needed, I headed under the train tunnels. And what I was after specifically was high-quality metal. See, I had the scrap left over for a workbench level 2, but not the HQM. And getting this tier 2 was so essential as I needed electric furnaces. My only way of smelting down enough metal to build this mighty base. Come on, HQM. Oh, man. That's unlucky. I had gathered plenty of useful components, but no high core. I would have to get it the old-fashioned way. Ah! Fucking wolves! No, dude! Like, I'm just gonna run home. I'm not gonna fight these guys in the dark. So, to get the necessary high qual for workbench level 2, I would get it through farming metal nodes. As it wasn't that much. As the sun rose, I got to work. Oh, there are two guys coming from over there. That's not good. Oh! And of course, there's a Tommy behind me as well. Even if I kill this guy, I get killed by the two behind me. Needing that all-important metal, I wasn't going to hand it over. Oh yes, the two guys I saw! They're fighting! Okay, okay, I can do something. They're still fighting. Okay, this is perfect. Wait, he's reviving his teammate! Oh, I finished him! Come 
come on, one more. Needs P2. Let's fucking go. No, the wolves, man. No. Go away. Oh my god, that's massive. I hear people behind me. I... I've got to just run. The Thompson guy that killed me, who then died, 100% was that Chinese clan's farmer. So he's going to come back over that ridge. I have to get home first. Too late. Fuck. No. <laughs> I knew he'd be coming back. How do I get home? Ah, oh, he sees me. He's beelining me. No way. Actually, I can probably just kill him. He won't have expected me to double back and post up. He's getting eaten by wolves! Fucking get him! Oh, I'm getting silenced. He's he's called his boys. No! They're all covered. Okay, he's dead. I can't loot that, though. I don't know how many are holding on that ridge. Okay, I see the silence guy. I'm out. I've got to go this way. That's my only chance. Bro, they have so much. And they're so desperate to kill me. Oh, my God. They called all the reinforcements, man. Let me have this. I need this so badly. I'm gonna go this way. I'm sitting tight right here until I know the coast is clear. Okay, I somehow made it back to base alive. Uh, I think they'll know it's me though, because they knew who I was when they raided me. Ah, I don't want them coming back. I gotta make sure I upgrade. While I had made it home with the loot, I was no longer under the radar which meant a raid at any moment was possible. More than ever, I needed these electric furnaces down fast so I could build the main. But I would come to realize that wasn't my only problem. Um, I had no bag in my farm base. Surely, please don't tell me. No. No. <laughs> Uh, wait, they didn't get my TC. They didn't get my TC. Oh, the vending machine bunker worked. Okay. I lost all of the teas and all of the berries. No, oh, I scrapped teas. Oh, really? This is all I need, man. This server's insane. Why do I even torture myself? You know what? None of the actual farm itself got broken. So if I repair, I can still use this. I obviously just lost all of my seeds and berries, but I think it's worth it. I'm going to need cloth. Yep. As if losing my main base wasn't enough, now my farm was also raided. This was going to be a grueling adventure. But you know what they say, when you hit rock bottom, the only way is up. Oh my, really? <laughs> That's a sign. Oh my. Uh, nah. It's a python. Bro, I'm getting shot by a scientist. I'm getting rocked. What is going on? I think I killed him though. Bro, get out of these walls. What the fuck, man? Right, I've got to get this workbench level 2 ASAP. If only there was a recycler nearby. High qual is just so difficult. Okay, I have enough for the workbench. I don't yet have enough high qual for the actual electric furnaces, so I'll have to uh, sort that. I will be taking inspiration from my favorite solo alone in Tokyo. I love his uh, external TC gatehouses, so we're doing a version of that. My farm had been re-secured, however, nothing was growing. I had lost all of my seeds and berries, so I headed into the forest to grab some more. But after traveling a couple of grids, I realized that the gas station wasn't too far away. 
and maybe after recycling, I could get the high qual I needed for the electric furnace. No. <laughs> there are so many bases around it, man. And there are players inside. This server is insane. That's why I've built in the desert. Although, it could be worth checking the cave under Miltons for high qual. Come on, please. No! Please? Oh, <gasps> let's fucking go. Okay, I have to get home. I have to make it home. Wait, there's some recycling. No, dude. I feel like I only hear one, though. It's just one, I can kill him. Surprise, motherfucker. Ooh, not bad. Oh my god, that's huge. Tech trash too. I need that. Right, we out, we out. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There's a farmer on my right. I have to make this back. Almost 40 HQM. 800 cloth. This is wipe changing. Come on. <laughs> I don't like this, man. I have so far to go. Ooh, there are two people right there. They see me. I think I just have DBs. I can ignore them. <laughs> and I'm not gonna fight, guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you. You guys, door camp away. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my fucking god, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did it. We are so back, baby. That is everything I needed. Okay, first up, we got garage door cooking. Gonna get electric furnaces down, metal smelting, and I'm well on my way to building the main. Thanks to that tech trash, I can even get a medium battery, which is very helpful. Now, I have a triangle on either side. In this triangle, I'm going to have the electric furnaces and my battery. In the other triangle, I'm going to have a locker vending machine bunker, which I always see alone in Tokyo do. It is genius. Hey, hey. There we go. Now we wait for the metal to cook. See, that's why I needed these things. Look at that, 2k frags already. Now, with the workbench level 2 and electric furnaces down, what I needed now was the farm to keep them filled. And oh boy, for the base I planned to build, I was gonna need a lot. I farmed, and I farmed, and I didn't stop until my boxes were overflowing. You know what, I actually need those sleeping bags, that's helpful. I had no outside bags, thank you. It would be absolutely tragic if I got raided now, so I'm just going to upgrade my external so it's at least 12 rockets to raid. I think a 12 rocket external is unlikely to get raided. I would be surprised. Adding some quick honeycomb to my external, I made sure that it wasn't an easy raid. However, I would not be fully safe until the main base was constructed. I had to keep pushing and get those foundations down as soon as I could. And after getting foundation wiped, I knew that the Chinese clan wouldn't be able to resist raiding me again. But this time, I would have a base ready to defend it. And it was while finishing the honeycomb that for the first time that day, I heard someone fighting scientists at the nearby missile silo. Clearing that with Thompsons. I wonder if they're actually gonna take the whole of silo if they're just clearing scientists on the top. They are actually doing it. I might be able to jump in after. No, I'm not gonna make it, it's closing. Wait, someone outside. Oh, 
I think everyone else jumps inside, so he's on his own out here. Oh, he killed a guy as well. Ooh, Spaz 12 and a Tommy. Oh shit, another Thompson. Huge. Let's go. The rest of his team must have jumped in. They left him on his own out there. We'll take it. See, I would try and camp the exit, but if they've got enough players that they've kept someone on the outside, I'm not sure it's worth it. They'll have someone else on the outside to clear anyway, so... After another successful run, I was starting to build up a lot of loot in my humble little base. It was time for some organization. Oh, I can definitely fit three boxes in. Oh, this would be beautiful. Come on. Come on, please let me. Oh, look at that. Yes. Wait, I forgot. You can put these through deployables. Hey, if this works, that would actually be sick. Oh my god. Hey, this is like the most satisfying one by one ever. Look at that. Oh, I almost don't want to move out of my external. <laughs> no, no, I have to. I need to build this main. This is not safe. We got a locker in here next to my bed. I don't have the high call for the shop yet, but I'll put a vending machine in front of there eventually. Got a Tommy kit. I'll put a Spaz 12 in here as well. I feel like that will be a good raid defense. Ah, oh, look at that. Good recovery. From nothing at all, and now I have a full base. Even have locker kits. We are so back. I'm just going to add some single airlocks either side of these single doors. <laughs> oh, this is the goofiest looking external ever. But you know what? When I have my main base as well, it's going to force raiders to decide which to raid. Because, I don't know, I'd be surprised if anyone has enough to raid both. Everything was falling into place. With a few more nodes, I would have enough to start building my main base. But if you remember, I had got distracted while collecting seeds on the last run. And living out in the desert, having a cloth farm would be essential for later down the line. So I returned to the forest in the hunt for seeds. A little bit of extra farm, we'll take it. Uh, I didn't find very many, but it'll do. I think I have enough now to uh, get the farm running again. Oh my! Where did that guy come from? Hit him three times too. He was heading straight towards Silo. Wonder if he's about to run it. A hazmat with a saw. Easy pickings if I wasn't caught by surprise. I grabbed my locker kit and was ready to chase when I noticed this. Ah, it's two. Kind of feels like they're just running home with my loot. I feel like they were about to do silo. They were heading this way. Oh. Yeah, they were just depositing my kit. Which means they were 100% about to do silo. Because they're heading back now. Yep, they are running straight for it. The fact they actually banked my kit makes me think they're not just running the crates, they're actually wanting to run Silo. And it's only two, 100%. Come on, please tell me they're going to do it. Because if they run it, I know where they've got to go. I know where they'll run home. And I can wait for them. And they'll have everything. Come on. No way. It's opening. They are actually running silo. Oh my god, this is perfect. This is perfect. Okay, I'm not even going to try and jump in after them. I'm just going to let them run the whole thing. And kill them on their way out. First, I just need to make sure that they're both actually inside and that none of them are above. Yeah. I think they're both down under. Okay. Now we wait. For those of you that don't know, Missile Silo is one of the most overpowered monuments in the game. Countering just a single run 
could give me more than I could farm as a solo in an entire day. And this was my chance. And so I waited. And I waited. And I waited. Wait, they're out. They're out. No fucking way. Yep, that's him. That's the guy that just killed me. Oh my god. No way. What the fuck? This is so much loot. Yep, we're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. Go, go, go. Fucking run. They are going to be racing back, but I know where they live. And they don't know where I'm going, so I think I'm okay. Come on. Please let me make this home. This is so much. Come on. If they're coming, it'll be any second now. Please. A couple meters. Holy shit. Nah. Missile Silo is the most stupidly broken monument in the game. What is that? That was 20 minutes of them farming Missile Silo. <laughs> 20 tech trash. Oh my god, 100 HQM. Nah. Armored door. Oh my god. That's insane. That is insane. That needs balancing. I'm sorry, that is not okay. That monument is too busted. Oh. After that incredible win, I had now built up more loot than I had even had the day prior. Now, I just had to work on keeping that loot safe. Ah, <sighs> time to get to work. farming all the nodes in my area, I was going to have to explore a little further to find some more. So I headed over to my old farm base, bringing along the seeds that I'd gathered with me. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Looks like these guys, who were such a pain to me yesterday, have also been offline raided. Base is disappearing. Probably by the same guys. Oh, this whole base is new. Might be worth a raid. Right, let's see if I can get a good enough hemp seed. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Two Y's, two G's. That's actually pretty much as good as I can expect. I mean, I'll, I'll look at the rest of them, but I'd be happy with that one. Nope, none of the others were better. Well, that's all good. We have one good seed. Okay, got a new bag down. I will let that seed grow. I'll clone it a few times, and then I will have uh, a working cloth farm. Probably get at least one more door down in here after it got raided. Oh, I can't believe that got raided while I was at the other base. That is so unlucky. My teas, man. I had so many. Okay, while I'm here, I saw loads of nodes over here, so I will farm those. A couple guys farming the road over there. Ah, I don't have a weapon flashlight. I need to kill them quickly before it gets too dark. Them both. Wait, ooh, he's not dead. Did I kill them all, or was there another one? Oh, I did kill three. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't realize I'd killed three. Okay, we are building up a lot of resources. And to save on stuff, I want to upgrade the core straight to sheet metal. So I'm going to make sure that I have enough frags first. There's no point upgrading it to stone and then immediately upgrading it. Um, so yeah, I'll do a couple more farming runs, and then I think I'm good to uh, get going. A 
and with inventories of resources now farmed and the electric furnaces having smelted down more than enough frags, it was now time to begin work on the main. Okay, I am not making the same mistake I made last time. We <laughs> I am not gonna get foundation wiped. So, we'll go extend out this way and then I will have my entrance. I think opposite right there would be nice. So that needs to be a square. Get rid of all these. Then up here, we want three triangles, followed by two squares, and then four more triangles. Then squares on all the sides. I'm gonna get those squares straight to stone so I don't get foundation wiped. Another three triangles on either end. Now, this is a base that I'm kind of winging. Like, I have a rough idea in my head of what I want for it, but, uh... Yeah, we're just gonna see how it goes. And we'll fill these corners with triangles. I have plans for a little secret loot room uh, in this base as well, which I've not done before, which should be cool. Okay, let's grab some metal frags. I did not bring nearly enough frags. <laughs> That's on me. Uh, I'll have my TC in this corner because it's facing away from the hill. So it's least likely to get raided from that side. And just like that, the beginning of the base is done. Damn, this guy's still online. It's a solo too. It's been on the same amount of hours I have. Now, unfortunately, I pulled a classic Wiljum, ran out of storage on my drive, and lost a bit of footage. Thankfully, it was just a couple fights and a little bit of work on the main base. So, F's in the comments and back to it. Okay, I think it was literally just building the second two floors, so we're all good. It was just four triangles on each floor. Not too much lost. Now, because this next step of the base is a massive amount of work, I think I'm going to do it one third at a time. I want to secure one third of the side of the base rather than having all three sides not secured, if that makes any sense. Y you'll see what I mean. It's quite a complicated base. I want a bedroom here and then we'll sneak upwards okay, so in those two and then the jump up will be here and this will repeat again so we'll have another bedroom there and then another jump up on the other side Oh my god, this is going to use so much stone. I, th I think I even underestimated it. I farmed like two boxes, but it's going to take a lot. Right, now up here, we'll have our entrance to the open core at the top. And then... I don't think I need a bedroom on this top floor. I think I'll seal that in, save some resources. Yeah, that'll do. Got all of that upgraded. Unfortunately, something you often forget is the amount that it's going to cost just for deployables like doors and garage doors. I'm going to need so many to uh, fill this up, and I'm going to be repeating this on all three sides. So uh, this is going to get pretty expensive. Uh, it's coming right for me. <laughs> Wait, watch this. <laughs> oh dear. 
Right, now I want to explain some of the thought behind this base. Because um, I feel like some of you might be confused. It's very different to the normal type of base that I build. Um, but the idea is that while no particular area of this base is massively strong, it's all kind of just a bit of a bait. Like the, the four triangle core, it will only be sheet metal, and I might, might make it high qual, but I'm never really going to have much loot in there. The idea is that the loot is just split between so many different places. Like I'll have bedrooms in each of these three sides. I'll have a bedroom in the core, I might have a bedroom on the roof, and each of those will have kits, it'll have some loot. And so everything is just so well spaced that if you're defending a raid, it's never lost because no raider can get to all of it, or at least not very quickly. So that's kind of the idea behind it. You know, if you knew where all of the loot was and you kept it in one place, then yeah, it might not be massively difficult to raid, but uh, yeah, it's just quite like a sneaky design. It's a way of being very strong at actually defending online raids. Okay, time to finally get the new main tool cupboard up. All I gotta do is burn out this one. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Ow. Okay, good. The barrel will not break. And then I just gotta go place this TC over there. Have to be careful though, because if someone knew what I was doing right now, they could TC grief my entire base. Alright, now I should be able to get another tool cupboard placed back in this external and that way the external is back to working as it should as an actual external TC. Beautiful. Oh we're looking so good. Okay. I want to get just this one third fully secured so I need to upgrade these walls on either side. Sorry, sorry. I know I'm not building with a candle hat. I can't, I can't be bothered to craft one. I apologize. All right, there we go. We got that upgraded. All right, I should be able to seal in the side here now. Oop, gotta get that frame upgraded. There we go. So as you can see on each side, we're gonna have these nice little peak downs, which are super easy to make as well. No wide gaps or anything like that. It's literally just triangles above a square. All I gotta do is put some siren lights. Beautiful. That is one of the sides to the base is now secure. So all of this is now fully locked in. I have room for my first bedroom. There we go. Feels good. Having already been raided twice this wipe, not wanting to waste any time, defense was vital. And so, the first thing I did was use this new space to create a brand new bedroom and fill it with kits. Now, during this time, I respawned at my farm base to quickly clone my seeds and get more hemp growing. Okay, so I had now completed not even a third of the shell of this main base. And I was already almost out of stone. Ah, back to farming. Oh. Got a pump shotgun on the water. What's going on? Sounds like someone might have done the fishing quest. I think someone's eco raiding. Oh, this is a free counter. That's the pumpy guy dead. There might be more in there. Oh, he's raiding this. Oh, it's low. I can finish that. And the metal door's open inside. Wait, this could be huge. This guy was on something. Come on. Oh, metal door. That's a shame. Hmm. I think this guy might be online, whoever he was raiding. But with that one metal door, I see a large box, fishing base. I need to raid that. I need four satchels. I gotta be fast. I might have enough cooked sulfur. 
I raced back to my base to cook up gunpowder and craft satchels as fast as I could. If the base owner was online and timered, he would only need a couple hundred more seconds before he could respawn and shut his doors. Come on, come on, come on. He needs to go fast. Okay, that should be enough GP. I already have a little bit cooked up. Right, so I need bean cans, and I need rope, and I need stashes. Okay, there's more bean cans crafting. Come on, craft faster! Okay, that's three. <laughs> One more bean can, come on! Okay, let's go. Please let the door be open. Yes! Okay, we're in. We're in. Here we go. Blow up fast for me. Let's get some fast explosions. Come on. That's one. That's two. Three. One done. TC locked. Oh, I see lots of boxes. This be good. Alright, let's see what we got. Ooh, 500 GP in there. That's not bad. You know what? Oh, 400 low grade and 100 crude. Yeah, that was worth. 14 sewing kits. Chainsaw. Okay, yeah, no, that, that was good. That was good. I pretty much made back all of the gunpowder I used to. I think we're clear. I don't want to waste time for counters to come. I'm going to loose up quick and get out of here. Yeah, good comps. Five seven bodies. That uh, low grade and crude is massive though. I was running low on low grade. Well, for a total of four satchels, about 800 gunpowder spent. Not too bad. A lot of diving equipment. Might come in handy. Could probably look at using the water a bit. I do live very close. And after that short distraction from my farming, I had turned four quick satchels into quite a lot of loot. But no more time to waste. It was back to work farming to complete the main. <laughs> Base looks so goofy with only one side of it uh, <laughs> sealed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, oh god, there's a wolf. I gotta do the same again on the other two sides. Huh? What the fuck? Bro, these things are so messed up. It really just hit me. With so much metal to smelt down, I crafted up three more electric furnaces and got them set up in my new core. Beautiful. That is 6,000 more frags that I will get in about an hour, I guess. Returning to the farm base to check in on my growing cloth when I heard gunshots at the nearby sulfur quarry. Oh, that's an L9. Oh, I see a couple. Oh, wow. Oh, they're building a, <laughs> they're building a quarry base. Wait, one's actually close. I wonder if he keeps going this way. I could pick him off and run home. Oh, it is so many more than I thought. Oh, is that guy looking at me? Oh, he saw me. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Never mind. Yeah, I think it's at least like seven or eight, maybe. There are about six at the base. I see three. To oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yeah, nah. <laughs> nope, not for me. But you know what? I'm going to keep that base in mind because uh, a Zerg quarry base like that, there's a good chance when they leave, they might leave kits there. Could be good to raid later on in the night when they go off. Oh. Someone is trying to run missile silo. Might be my neighbor. Yeah, I reckon it is. I need to be careful if I kill him. Kill him. I think I killed him.
Wait, there are actually a lot of crates above ground. I was really hoping that guy would have a blue card, but it looks like he was just here to, uh, to loot. Honestly, don't ask me why I'm still watering my planters with a bucket. I, I could have just set up proper water pumping, but I never got a workbench down here and I can't be bothered. At this point, I'm in too deep with the bucket. We're, <laughs> we're using the bucket. Hey, I mean, hey, it works. It's not that bad. Okay, well, that is more than enough cloning. I think it is time to properly start growing cloth. So in about an hour and a half, I should have close to 2,000 cloth. It's pretty good. And I mean, this isn't even with god cloning. This is literally just placing seeds until I get a good enough one. It works. It actually works. It's underrated. I used my new chainsaw from the raid to farm up a bunch of extra wood. And with that sorted, I now had enough resources to continue on the base. I've left this gap in the foundations here because I would really like an oil refinery and I think I can fit one there, so we'll see if that works. Now all I had to do was repeat the same extension that I added to the first side onto the other two, and with that done, my shell would be complete. Right, now I want this floor to pretty much all be metal, as uh, this top floor here is where I'm going to be living out of mainly. I'm going to have my tier 3 up here when I eventually get another one. Uh, and yeah, this is what I'm going to live out of, which I love about these types of bases. You kind of, during the day, you, you have a lot of space to live in, which uh, is not typical for my uh, classic Wildrum bases. Oh, look at that. Refinery fits. Beautiful. Yeah. I actually think adobe really helps here because those little wood bits that stick out, they do have a hitbox. So it makes the gap even tighter with siren lights. So yeah, I don't think anyone could ever squeeze through that. Yeah, not bad. Oh, I'm loving this, man. I'm proud of my progress today and one day, we have gone from losing everything. Look at me now. Look at me now. It is finally looking like a base. That's something. And also, now that the main base has been upgraded, people are far less likely to raid the external. Because no one would think that all my loot's in the external, not the main. So uh, yeah, the more I get upgraded, the more I can split my loot. And we will be secure. right there. Oh, I reckon that's the solo guy that lives up there. What's this guy doing? Oh shit. This guy was kind of loaded. Got a pumpy too. Blue card. Ooh. Maybe I could run missile silo at some point. That'll be huge. guy doing? I'm gonna depot first. I think that was my neighbor again. If I'm right, and this is the guy that lives right there, it's no life. Yeah, and he's good. 
he's got his uh, GP on him. He was still crafting meds. Definitely the guy that lives right there. Okay, well, at least we know who he is now. Thanks to the missile silo counter, I had all the components and high quality I needed to craft up turrets. Alongside a windmill, I could have those protect my top floor and make my open core even harder to raid. Oh, okay, that is 60 HQM I've just spent on turrets and pythons, but I think it'll be worth it. I want to get these all on my, uh, like, open core inner peaks. I feel like if I can hold those in a raid, that's where, you know, I'll have my kits, that's where I'll be defending from. I think that's best. See, after getting foundation wiped overnight and seeing all of my neighbors get raided alongside it, I knew that the Chinese clan wouldn't be able to resist raiding my base again. And that's why I was putting so much focus into making sure I was designing a build that could defend it. They would return eventually, but this time, I'd be ready. Okay, I need somewhere to put this windmill, so I'm gonna finish the peak of this base. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about having a crazy shooting floor. Because actually, very often in these kind of raids, the shooting floor just gets covered by whatever raid base they build. So, uh, I think what I'll do instead is just have a sealed off sheet metal base on top of the base. And so I could have another bedroom up here and, you know, have that upgrade to sheet, have a garage door leading to it. And uh, yeah, that will be almost like another whole base that if anyone wanted to raid, they'd have to spend at least eight rockets to get to. And here we go. Make sure that I am fully ready for if I get raided again. I've got a seismic sensor crafting. When the Chinese come back in the middle of the night, I won't let it happen for free. Bedroom number three. Now I have nine kits ready. Turrets were now wired and the base was coming together. However, what I still didn't have was a workbench level 3. What I needed was some more scrap and high qual after I'd spent it all crafting turrets and pythons. So, like earlier in the day, I made the long trek and headed to the gas station, hoping to recycle down for that precious HQM. What I hadn't expected was to get a little more than I bargained for. So I'm recycling. Probably just got a pipe here or something, but... Or not. Got a Thompson. Okay. He's on his own. Oh my god. <laughs> um... Well, that's everything I needed. Thank you. I'm not escaping the scripted allegations with that one. Oh my god. I got 500 scrap and 50 HQM. Oh. That actually just made me jump. Fucking wolves, man. I'm gonna have to shoot now. I give my neighbor a wide berth. I do not want him to shoot me. Please don't go on your roof. Let's go. Massive. Well, we have the tier 3. 1500 scrap, 100 HQM, more than enough. Beautiful. 
and so, despite starting the day with almost nothing, I had recovered it all. Crafting up that precious workbench level 3 and placing it in my new home. And this one wouldn't be getting foundation wiped. Hey, there we go. Oh, what a day. Tier 3 down. Feels good. How is our beautiful farm getting along? Ooh. Almost ready. Ah, oh, these needs a little bit more water. They're almost ready, though. Maybe 20 more minutes? And after doing some more farming, the cloth was ready to be harvested. Well, sort of. I was also a bit impatient, but, you know. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> they were like three quarters done, but I can't be asked. <laughs> Look at that, 1400 cloth. Oh, it's beautiful. And we'll get another one going. See, I need to head to bed soon as well, so I want to get another cycle done before I go to sleep. And now that I had a tier 3 workbench, I could begin to do raids of my own. So it was time to up the sulfur production, because I was going to make some boom. Ding! Look at that, 20 explosives. Now, because I got so much tech trash from that missile silo run, I think I'm going to look to make C4. Um, and my very first thought is to get 2C4 and have a look at that quarry base and maybe raid that that the Zerg had earlier. 1k GP in there. Cool. Another 20 explosives crafting. That would be enough for 2C4. And as the explosives crafted, I took the time to head back over to the quarry and investigate. There's actually Thompson shots around here. That's not good. I wanted it to be quiet. Ah, huh, looks like I wasn't the first person uh, to have that idea. Damn, someone's already scouted it hard. Oh, there is a base over here. And these guys are active. That's annoying. Would be really tough raiding that with these guys right here. Oh, there's someone inside as well. Okay. I'm backing up. Oh, no, he saw me. Oh, no, this is bad. Oh, what am I aiming at? I whiff. Oh, I'm getting shot from the roof as well. Ah, it's three. Oh! Two bullets. <laughs> oh, two more. <laughs> 20 HP, one med. Ah, I'm so fucked. I gotta kill this one guy on ground and maybe I can run. <laughs> he sucks. There's no way. Jackhammer. Wait, that's huge. Go, 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 go. My life. No fucking wolves! <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Nah, I can't. These things are out. <laughs> what the? Fuck? Oh, I'm gonna die! Bro. Nah. Nah, these things are crazy. I have no meds. Oh. <laughs> nah. I bet that was my neighbor as well. It actually was. What was he doing there, man? That's so annoying. After scouting the quarry base, seeing the three man living so close, raiding it would be a challenge. So instead, I set my sights on the two by one up the hill that I had spotted throughout the day while farming. It's actually now almost five o'clock in the morning, which means these guys are probably gonna be coming online soon. Okay, let's hope for a lot of farm. There are loads of nodes, so hopefully they're farmers. I also need to be very careful for my neighbor. He will 100% come counter. They're so close. Oof, that is not the best sign. There's a chainsaw though. Maybe there's farm in there. Come on. Ah, not the best. Not the best. The charcoal. Ah. You know what? Could be a lot worse, but uh, not what I was hoping for. Be out. Mm. 
Using the stone from the raid, I finish the final side of the shell. And while doing so, once again, I heard someone attempting to take the missile silo. Gunshots have stopped. That is very strange because there are still scientists. Oh, bro. I feel like this guy is still here. Maybe he heard me? That is really odd because there are scientists. But he stopped shooting. Wait, scientists can. Wait, he was underneath? Nah. I knew he was still here. Oh, rats! He was hiding in the building! He must have heard me. Get over here. <laughs> you can't fucking run from me. Oh, this little weasel, man. <laughs> That's my neighbor. That's so funny. I had a feeling he was still there. Where's his gun? That's my saw, too. I will be taking that back. Thank you. Problem is, he is now 100% gonna head straight to my base. I can't get back in time. I'm gonna have to kill him one more time. Unless... I go to his base and get a free kit. Catch him by surprise. Yep, there he is. There he is. He's waiting at my front door. Ah. I only hit him once. Twice. Oh, he's so low. Fuck it. I'm pushing. Okay, I don't think he saw me as I pushed, so I'm gonna flank round to the right here. Hopefully catch him. He might have stayed at that high wall. Hoping he has. Get over there somewhere. Oh! No way. You know what? Fair enough. That guy read me like a fucking book. <laughs> nah, I respect. I mean, he fumbled. He fumbled the aim, but like... He, he outflanked my flank. That's a solo to the core, man. He, he gets it. After battling with my solo neighbor, I had secured another couple of kids. And now, almost 6 o'clock in the morning, my day two was coming to an end. I had taken back control, fought against losing everything, and rebuilt even stronger. I finished up my shell as the day came to an end, adding yet another bedroom on each side. <laughs> We're both just building. I kind of fuck with him. I respect it. I respect it. This guy has been on literally as many hours as I have. Like, that is not easy as a solo. I, I can't <laughs> fuck with it, you know. <laughs> solo to solo. And the other thing is, in fairness, like, neither of us have door camped each other. Like, despite knowing that we're always roaming, not one time have either of us gone to each other's base. I feel like there's that mutual solo respect. And if we meet outside, we'll fight to the death. But, like, we're not going to go door camp each other, you know. Even though I'd set up a raid alarm, it was almost 6 o'clock. I knew if I went to bed, I was unlikely to wake up to any sort of notification within the next few hours. And offline was more than likely. So I did everything in my power to secure my loot as best as I could. See, now that my main base was almost completed and upgraded, it was now far more of a target than my external. So using this to my advantage, I plan to leave most of my loot and resources still within the external. Who in their right mind would raid that over this? On top of that, I would take some of my loot and split it amongst the three bedrooms and the core of the main base. Taking it even further, I added the vending machine in front of the locker to my external, keeping my very best loot hidden away out of sight. 
the chances of not only my external base being raided, but also the locker hidden behind the vending machine being hit as well, was near impossible. All right, just a small box with half of my components in here, and I'm gonna do exactly the same in the other bedroom as well. Okay, and with that, I now have the majority of my loot in my external. I have kits in every locker in every bedroom. I've got extra components in this box here, because most likely my core of this main base is gonna get raided, if anything does. Um, I, I can't think my external will get raided now, because I know this base looks so much more uh, expanded and secure. All right. Yeah, we got a lot of loot in these boxes. Just hoping that my external survives. And we'll be on for a big day three. Just to make 100% sure that my bait would work, I disabled my electric furnaces in the external. There was now no way of telling that there was any loot within. And with that, I logged out for the night. Heading to sleep in my core. With nothing more I could do to protect my loot, and desperate for sleep, fate was out of my hands. Okay. Well, I had a couple of raid notifications in the night, but only two. Um, so I don't think anything could have been raided with so few explosives. So it might have just been a couple of satchels or molotovs or even a helicopter blowing up. Yeah. Easy. Don't know what the, uh, don't know what got raided, but it's kind of weird. Oh. What? Wait, what about the locker? What? There's no fucking way. Ah. Cheaters. That would make sense. Yeah, I 100% got raided by someone using ESP. They only blew up to my locker <laughs> and the boxes in the external. They blew up nothing else. They didn't even blow up the door to the electric furnaces! What? Okay, yeah, no, that's so blatant. That is so blatant. And I could guarantee that was the Chinese group. They raided at the exact same time that I got raided yesterday. Yeah, that's crazy. For those of you that don't understand what I'm saying, Whoever raided this base obviously had some type of like third party cheat in order to see through and see boxes through through walls. Because the fact that they left this single door is what gives it away for me. They raided everything. They didn't even raid to the TC. They just got to every single box, including the locker, and they didn't even touch the main base or the front side of the external. They only got to the boxes. Yeah, and it makes sense, because I don't really have any boxes in my main base, so they would have seen that all of my boxes were in the external, and they would have seen where the boxes are. They literally raided the most perfect path to get everything, and they didn't even blow to TC. That's that's what gives it away. Oh, wow. That's, that's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I did not account for, was someone cheating. Like, they didn't even soft-side that because they knew. They knew that there was nothing there. They knew it was just a repair bench. <laughs> That's wild. <sighs> I had done all that I could to protect my loot, yet what I hadn't even thought about was the possibility of someone raiding with cheats. And I knew with every fiber of my being that it was the Chinese clan. And I had had enough. Offline raided again by the same group, but this time, on day three, I was gonna get my revenge. Fuck it. I think it's time I get my own back. Now, while I had lost a lot of loot to the offline, what I still had was the tier three, my resources and tool cupboard, along with the components I'd stashed throughout my main base. And that was all I needed. Nah, I'm so done with these guys. All they do is just farm. Power farm and offline raid is crazy. The fact that I didn't even see them yesterday. It's just insane, apart from the first, like, hour. Okay, well, this is pretty much everything I have. 
but it's all I fucking need. On the bright side, I think I have a short window where they're not gonna raid me, because they just know they've got everything, so I should be good for a while. Oh my god, these motherfuckers, man, they've built up even more. Look, they've put turret pods everywhere around their compound. That's crazy, man. I have like 20 turret pods. What am I even supposed to do? Well, it was pretty clear. Whatever I planned to do, I would need sulfur. So it was straight to work, farming up as much as I could and getting it smelting down. Who are you? <laughs> you <laughs> this has me baiting. Yeah, you put that one on a little bit late, buddy. Yeah, we have a couple kits, that's good. Still kept the uh, locker bedrooms. Now, unfortunately, I lost all of my cloth, literally all of it. But the farm is still growing, so I should have more than enough once that's grown. So I think we're okay. Wasting no time, I got straight to work, churning out sulfur and turning it into gunpowder as fast as I could. While scouting the Chinese clan, I had noticed that the cheater I had got banned on wipe day, his base was decaying and it seemed like just a couple of doors would lead to core. So, I thought it was a good use of my gunpowder. Oh, two more metal doors. Mm, this actually looks big. Okay, yeah, I'm coming back with enough for that. Right, come on. Just give me profit. I need guns, I need sulfur, I need charcoal. Oh, we're in. DC's locked. Come on, fuck, come on. Give me some goods. Oh no. Oh, please don't all be empty. Fuck. I have hope, I have hope. Okay, we're sealed. Right, let's see. Oh, okay, there's stuff. Oh, two rows of charcoal. You know what? More charcoal. High qual. That's, that's worth. That is worth. Charcoal is actually probably harder for me to get than sulfur. Because it takes so much time. So that is honestly really good. Okay. Well, at least now we're finally living out of the open core. <laughs> Don't have much of a choice, but... Uh... Okay, do with a few more furnaces, get more sulfur smelting. I need it fast. Yeah, that was that was so worth two doors. Now, day three, it was all or nothing. I had to take risks if I wanted to achieve anything. So it was time to make upgrades. Using my tier three, I crafted up the new SKS. My first time properly using it since it was released. Oh baby, here we go. I've never properly used this. I shot it a couple times yesterday before losing it immediately, but I'm excited. Could it be my new favorite weapon? I guess we'll find out. But uh, it's not too expensive. You just need the workbench level three. And as the sun rose on the next morning, I got to work, farming up more nodes and sulfur to keep my furnaces full before heading down into the train tunnels on the hunt for high core. Oh, this thing is beautiful at clearing scientists. Nice. Okay, what I need is high quality and gears. I need so many gears for all the garage doors I need in this space. Okay, you know what? I need to take risks. I'm going to pop up at mill tons and recycle. This will be a lot of high quality if I can make it. Oh, that was AK. No. Oh, there were, <laughs> there were so many of them. You know what, though? I kind of ruined that guy with the SKS there. That first guy got dropped. Oh my god, this gun's cool. Unfortunately, I had died trying to recycle for that precious HQM. But not to worry, because I was on a mission and I would stop at nothing. Heading over to my farm base to check on the cloth as I was almost down to zero, and I noticed a decaying base. Wait, that's the base that I was going to raid yesterday. It's decaying pretty bad. Go have a peek at that in a sec. First, I'm gonna see if my cloth's ready. I think it should be. Yeah, boy, the beauty of a cloth farm. Oh my god. I would be screwed without this. 1800 cloth. We're so back. Right, let's 
see what we got. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, hold up. Oh, hold up. Need to. Okay. Okay. Uh. That must have literally just happened. What? What? 70 high qual? Oh my god, that's insane. Oh, oh, the furnaces are all full. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. I have to get this home. That's insane. It's a blessing that I died. It's actually fate that I died. If I hadn't died of Miltons, I wouldn't have found this right now. Holy shit, that is a lot of farm. This guy was solo. What a farmer, man. Respect. My man knew how to farm everything except stone, apparently. That's crazy. Nah, what's most tragic is that I have come past this base so many times and not raided it. I didn't think it would be worth. Look what was inside. Although, I guess if I had raided it earlier, I probably would have lost it when I got offline. So, once again, everything happens for a reason. With a massive haul of resources, I ran it safely home on my horse. But I wasn't done with the decaying base. The tool cupboard was locked and metal wasn't decaying, which meant there could still be more inside. All right, what do we reckon is inside TC? Obviously no stone, because it's decaying. And scrap was outside, so I don't think any of that, but maybe high qual? I feel like there could be a lot of metal in high qual. Come on, please be full. Please, <laughs> make my day. You know what? A row of frags, worth, so worth, oh my gosh. And collecting the rest of the loot that I couldn't carry, I made my way home. Hmm, sounds like someone's clearing the silo. Did they clear silo? They do. Night shortly fell. I set up some more electric furnaces to boost my sulfur production, and crafted some extra SKSs with the high quality from the decaying base. Oh, someone is definitely doing silo now. It's night time. If they're running it, I could um, I could camp the exit again. I might craft night vision. I don't think I ever have before, but this could actually be the moment. Fuck it, I'm doing that. I had heard the scientists at Silo being cleared by multiple guns, MP5s and Thompsons. I suspected that a group that geared wouldn't just be clearing the top scientists and intended to take the whole thing. And in the dead of night, I would be waiting. Yes, yeah, yeah, they're clearing, they're clearing. I hear them underneath. Oh, this could be massive. Ah, shit, it's kind of light, but it's also too dark to see. I don't know whether to use a night vision or not. I see the flashlights. Oh, they're so fucking close. Two dead. Oh, there's more. Oh, fuck. Oh, how many more is it? Okay, that's two dead. I killed two. Oh, this gun's so good. What the fuck? Okay, that's good stuff, that's good. Right, where's the other guy? Okay, good, but that's not all the loot. I'm confused. Where's the... This guy should have a backpack or something. What? That's not full silo loot. Fuck it, I can't afford to stay any longer. They will all be back. We out. Oh! Oh, I love this gun. I think I can go. I can go. Okay, I have to go back though. Like, I'm missing something because that is not silo loot. But I got a lot from that. You go again. 
I think that guy has a lot. He's running away. Oh, this gun is so clean. Oh, fuck, there's more. He's wearing boots. Oh, there's more behind me, too. Oh, fuck me. I found my gun. This is... I have literally been waiting my Rust career for a gun that just fits for me. God damn, this thing's beautiful. Oh, oh no. That guy almost killed me. Oh, we are out. We are fucking out. I got so many guns from that. <laughs> that was insane. I killed like eight people. Securing plenty more kits, it was back to the prep. With the gears I had secured throughout the day, I put them to good use, crafting up garage doors to secure my open core even further. I could now also work on that secret room that I had planned the day before. Okay, so I had this idea, I think it'll be really cool. Obviously, if someone ESPs, <laughs> can't really do anything against it. But you'll see that on each of these corners, um, I have these two triangles. On the other two sides of the base, the triangles just lead to the corridor, but on this side, what I want is I want a loot room hidden at the top of here. And the only way of getting to it would be raiding through these garage doors. But raiders would most likely just think that this is another chute leading up to the shooting floor. So I'm also going to have the metal facing soft side as well, just to sell the look. So I'll have a barrel behind that garage door at the top, and then I'll have these garage doors here. As you can see, from the outside, you just think, I'm going to upgrade these as well. You just think it's, you know, part of the honeycomb of the base. Because on these sides, you just have this walkthrough. So I'm going to seal that. But yeah, on that one side, there's just going to be that secret little room up at the top. Which I think if you're raiding it, unless you were ESPing, you would have no idea to think to look there. And even if you did, you'd have to then spend an extra eight rockets just to get to that box, and you'd have no idea what's in it. Okay, now I'm just gonna have to seal these sides in. I'm gonna make it metal on all sides, just so it doesn't give away why that side in particular is metal. Good. And with the stone that I had gathered, it was time to make a real shooting floor. You know what? I am loving this base. For something that I've kind of completely winged from just memory and inspiration from some other older bases, I feel like it's really cool. And I even know what I want to do for the roof. I remember seeing this particular peak uh, in a base in a series a while back. And I realized that whenever I see three triangles, I can do it again. And I just really liked it. I thought it was very clean. And then there's room for a turret right there on that triangle. I just really like that, that angle that the roof gives you. Now, what's doing between? I might honestly just do normal windows. Oh, actually, no, I could have I could have one of each. I could have one of like my classic peak downs that I always build, and then window in the other one with glass. Mm-hmm. I fuck with it. The improv roof design. I fuck with it. This base goes hard as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. I am really enjoying it. Maybe this will become the new Wilgem special. Oh, that is quite a nasty peak with the embrasure, actually. Yeah, that's cool. 
And then, we even have a little peek back onto the roof roof, in case they were raiding top down. I do without electric furnaces. These things are a solo's best friend. Honestly, look at that. Another 6k frags. Got a little ankle biter piece with these low walls. It's kind of nice doing that. And lastly, a little bit of roof access. I think I'll just do a garage door and a single door up here. Keep things simple. And with my new roof, I would need some auto turrets to defend it. With the three in the open core and now two more crafting for the roof, it would be difficult for any raider to take control of the upper half of my base. And in the meantime, I was smelting down sulfur into gunpowder. Five auto turrets now. Not bad. And we have our nice little roof access onto our top floor. Bro, this base is sick. I'm loving it. It's actually so cool. It's really uh, come together nicely. And now it was time to become a factory. With the sulfur that I'd got from the decayed base and the charcoal from the base I had raided, I had more than enough to smelt down to tons of explosives. The question now was where was I going to spend them? Well, on the Chinese Zerg, of course. However, I knew that I could never raid their main base. See, they had built in a god rock, and I could safely assume with the amount they'd been raiding, it would be almost a hundred rockets to reach their core. And with the turrets and the amount of players they had, it was simply impossible. But there were other ways I could get back at them. All right, let's have a look at this motherfucking monstrosity. Oh my, they have like 50 auto turret pods, each with their own TC so they can exceed the limit of 12. That's insane. Although, they're all on this side of the compound. What's in that shop? Those are my scrap tees! I guarantee those are the scrap tees that they raided from me. A hundred percent. They're selling a tier three for 150 HQM. Guns are sold out. That shop would be loaded. That shop would be absolutely loaded. I wonder if there's a way I could raid that. Bro, looking at it from this angle, I live so close to them. It's no wonder they've all flying me both nights. <laughs> Base is looking sick, though. That actually looks so cool. Alright, alright, alright. I reckon I can get that shop. Because that would be loaded. Okay, I mean, there are too many turrets on this side. But I'm, I'm going to check it from the other side. I mean, look, the guns are sold out. They'll be sold for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I wonder how... How much does it take to, like, spear out a turret? Can you spear through chain defense? Oh, wow, that hurts. That hurts. Oh my god, fucking... Bro! Bro, what the fu- What the fu- There's like six of them! <laughs> what? Wolves, man! What are they? That's crazy! Okay, I feel like I didn't see that many turrets on this side of the compound. They kind of put them all on the side towards my base. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. I wonder how close I can build up to here. Oh no, they have it TC'd quite well actually. Build here. I mean, I would have to ladder over, but... Oh my god, someone's literally just bought from their shop. Bro, that's gonna be so loaded. Okay. 
See, I feel like I don't see any other turrets actually guarding the shop apart from that one. And if it's just the one, then I could break that one turret and then raid the shop and get out before anything happens. Hold on, I need to see what kind of door have they got. That's a single sheet metal door that leads to that vending machine. That's actually just one single sheet metal door. But these guys have such a big compound and so many turrets, they've got complacent. I could literally raid that with 1c4. 100%. I break the turret, I raid that one door, and I get so much loot for it. I guarantee it. I think that's the plan. And I just pray that there are no other turrets that I don't see. I just have to make sure I do it fast, because as soon as that explosive goes off, guarantee they'll be there to defend. And so, that was the plan. Now all I had to do was put it into action. Oh, we're up. Oh, there is a turret, but it's not powered. Wait, that's huge. Okay. So I think it's just this turret in front of me. Well, I can say in my entire Rust career, I have never shot out a turret before. With a bow. <laughs> oh, I need to get the fire to land on it, don't I? Mm, it's not landing. That's tough. Okay, this fire is too unreliable. I think I'm going to switch back to normal arrows and just stick it out. Must be getting low by now. I feel like I've been doing this forever. Oh. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. First, I need to check that I can get to the door. And then I'm going to F1 kill and get the boom. Okay, so how will I escape? I'm going to get out of the compound by jumping on that twig. And triangle there. Okay, can we get to the door? We can. It's a single door. Oh my god, I'm so ready. Let's do this shit. C4, crafting. Okay, got a backpack. All right, let's fucking go. Please don't be any traps inside. Please. Okay. Oh my god. My scrap tease. <laughs> I've got them back! Oh my god, 400 iQual? Nah, another tier 3! Fucking go, 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 go! <laughs> we get the fuck out of here! <gasps> oh. <laughs> go, go, go! And we're out on the horse! Oh fuck! The turrets! Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One C4. Look at that. And using their high call, I immediately upgraded more of my base. They were going to raid me, I was going to make them work for it. And with all of the new sulfur from their own shop, I put it straight back into the furnaces. I wasn't done yet. I actually cannot believe that. That is insane. I didn't think I'd get that much. Like, the fact that it worked, I did not think that plan would work, man. I thought something would go wrong. It always does. Oh my god. With all the new guns, I immediately made three more bedrooms and filled the lockers, splitting up all of this new loot as well as I could. Okay, second tier three in the external. There's no way I'm losing both of these. And now I would have all six electric furnaces smelting down sulfur. In the meantime, I went on a quick roam. Oh! 
Oh! Oh my god. Bro, where are these guys all coming from, man? This is why I live in the desert. The grass is just crazy. Oh, there's a there's a turret there. Just in case anyone else forgot. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm gonna run past that every time. Oh baby. It is time to cook down this sulfur. And with every mixing table smelting sulfur into gunpowder and churning up explosives, I was ready for something big. But first it was back to the compound to see what I could do. Okay, now they didn't stir off the one explosive, but that doesn't mean they don't have a raid alarm. Because if I have a raid alarm and I see one alert, I don't wake up for it. Um, so if I was to start rocketing more, there is a good chance they would still wake up. You know, like, why wouldn't they have a raid alarm? These guys are serious fucking farmers. Now what I would like to do, what I would love to do, is to... Uh, oh! <laughs> there's, a, there's a shotgun trap there, guys. Just... What I would love to do is something that hurts, you know, like I want something that they can't just brush over. I've stolen loads of sulfur, you know, and guns, but they, I'm sure they have more. But if I can raid their farm base and get to TC of that and grief it, that would feel like a win for me. 100%. Because I could set up turrets, I could be a real pain in the ass. I want to get their TC of this farm base. I wonder what cams they've got in this. <laughs> Oil rigs. Shock. Oh, fuck, they've got turrets over here. That's not good. Okay, so they have a turret watching over the farm base, but if I break that turret to my left, there's no reason why I couldn't raid into this farm base. It is all sheet metal and there's an armored door, so it's not going to be cheap, but definitely cheaper than their main. I think I could do it, you know. Just need to get rid of that turret. Returning home, I used their high qual to craft up a rocket launcher, along with some HVs. I would use these to blow up the turret and get one step deeper into their compound. Okay, the turret is gone. Let's see what's in these boxes. Again, they might wake up to that, but I would be surprised. It's only three. Oh, well, there's the wood that I needed. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh, there's a there's a shotgun trap there, guys. <laughs> Every time. And now, certain that I can make it up to their farm base and pummel it with rockets. That was exactly what I was gonna do. Okay. Hundred explosives. I'll have 10 rockets. 10 rockets plus maybe a couple stacks of explo. I reckon I can get TC with that. Using everything at my disposal, I crafted up a full kit and a face mask. I wasn't taking any chances. And with the rockets and explosive ammo crafting, I used the cover of darkness to make the run into their compound. Okay, I'm as ready as I could ever be. We go through the front door, and we hope we get TC. Come on, let's fucking do this. This is for all the offlines. Okay, next up is an armored door. I can splash both though, so this could be good. Is that it? Should be low. 120. Can I explode that? No, that's not doing much. 
fuck it. I'll send another rocket. Oh? What? What? <laughs> no. What the fuck? The turrets! What? Nah! I can't. Why is there so much? Fuck it. I'm loading up these HPs. I am despawning their shit. If they don't come online, this stuff is gone. I am breaking every barrel in here. These motherfuckers deserve it. Oh, that feels good. I hope they don't wake up in time and that's all just gone. Alright, let's grab what I need. AKs. Definitely. That's so much ammo. This is crazy, man. I cannot believe the turrets they had, though. Like, that is insane. So many, like, crafted, ready to build. It's unbelievable. Alright, I'm gonna blow through the top door. Maybe I'll get CC this way. Wait. Oh! Oh, they're online! <laughs> they're fucking online! <laughs> they're opening doors! No, 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 we're, we're gone, we're gone, we're gone. <laughs> I woke them up! <laughs> oh! No, my build-up! <sighs> building plan, building plan! <laughs> fucking, come on! Come on, come on, crap! They're coming, they're coming, one second! Oh! Uh. Go, go, go! <laughs> Oh my god. There's a turret. Avoid the turret. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> well, you know what? I call that a success. And the best part is... I forced them to wake up, but for them, it's like 5 in the morning. <laughs> oh, they came on for nothing. I'm already out, motherfuckers. I'm already out. Despite just a solo, I really felt like I had done my part in taking on the group that had terrorized the server. While I was never gonna raid them and take everything they had, this felt like more of a win than I could have ever imagined waking up on that second morning with nothing. I had fought against the odds and risen from the ashes and become richer than I could have ever dreamed of. Using the stack of gears that I grabbed from their barrels in the farm base, I crafted up as many garage doors as I could. If they wanted to offline me again, I was going to make them work for Splitting every drop of loot that I'd gathered as best as I possibly could, raiding this base fully would be a nightmare. But I wasn't quite done yet. After using all of their farm, upgrading and fortifying my base as much as I possibly could, I headed out on a final round. This time, armed with their AK and bolt rifle. <laughs> I see him running around in there. <laughs> Uh, funny. Oh. Wait, this guy's landed with a mini. What? Nah. Bro, there's no way. Oh, wait, the mini's stuck. Oh, did that kill him? Might have killed him. Nah, he's alive. Not anymore. Needs to be careful of the neighbor though. He is probably gonna try and kill me now. I wanna fly it, but I know this guy is wasting. Come on. Yep. <laughs> Better solo wins. <laughs> oh, this guy. Let's fucking go. That was clean. That was so clean. Oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> uh. Enough to
depositing the extra kits, I thought I'd take the heli on a bit of a journey. Oh, these guys are building below me. They're online. Oh, yeah, they saw me. Oh, I bet you anything. They've just seen a solo fly to oil rig full metal. If they have a mini, they are going to come. I guarantee it they're going to try and counter. Wait, Mini! Mini! <laughs> I fucking knew it! I bet that was the gun. They had a mini gun! <laughs> they came with a mini! That's crazy. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, no red card though. I can't do it. I think they literally came to come kill me. That is hilarious. Bro, what the fuck? Oh, what is this wipe? And on that win, I flew home for the very last time of this adventure. Goes to show that no matter how many times you get beat down as a solo, with patience and grit, you can always claw your way back. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This is one of my favorite adventures to both record and edit in possibly ever. And I hope you guys felt the same as well. If you did, make sure to subscribe because I upload every single week. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Wiljum, out.